The Palestinian government, headed by Prime Minister Dr. Alhamdallah, formed a national team to be in charge of the establishment of the Palestinian Social Security Corporation upon the standards of the International Labour Organization. This comes as a step to ensure an approved strategy for the social security sector and to develop a social security system that provides a framework for a comprehensive social benefits to the Palestinian workers and their families on the long term. Prime Minister Dr. Alhamdallah chaired consultation to discuss key challenges and priorities and to identify possible assistance from the ILO. After four years of research and hard work, and upon the request of his government, President Mahmoud Abbas issued Law No. 19, which approves the establishment of the Palestinian Social Security Corporation. The corporation aims at providing social protection for more than one million citizens. The government decided that the corporation must have its own legal capacity and full financial and administrative independence. Also, the corporation has its own board of directors, which is headed by the Minister of Labor and includes members from the government, workers and employers, trade unions and NGOs, as well as an academic financial expert. His Excellency Alhamdulillah stated that protecting the Palestinian citizens from threats and providing all means and elements of a decent life is the first duty and responsibility of the Palestinian government. Therefore, establishing the Social Security Corporation is a major milestone in the path of achieving social protection for the Palestinian workers and their families as it coordinates a cooperation between different partners and state institutions to achieve justice, combat poverty, and achieve sustainable national development. The Palestinian Social Security Cooperation covers seven categories of insurance risks, aging, cumulative disability and natural death, work injuries and diseases, maternity, diseases, health insurance, unemployment and family compensations. The corporation seeks to cover as many Palestinian workers as possible, to provide income to workers and their families and to preserve their rights, especially pension rights of Palestinian workers within the Green Line, which are neglected for years by the Israeli occupation authorities.